Deepthi Sharma and today I'll be talking about price ceiling. So what is price ceiling? Price ceiling means a government puts a price above which a product cannot be sold. The price under price ceiling has to be less than the equilibrium price for that product in the market. Okay, coming to this diagram. Now if you look at this diagram, TD is my demand curve, VS is my supply curve, the intersection of them is my equilibrium point which is point B and um, that gives me P star as my equilibrium price and Q star as my equilibrium quantity. All right. Now what happens when there's a price cap or when there's a price ceiling by the government on any product? Since I have told you that the price ceiling has to be below the equilibrium price, so in this case, in this diagram, I have made my price ceiling, P ceiling, as this CR. Now, it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere below the equilibrium price. I've just made it here so that I can explain it in a diagram. So, my P ceiling is this CR, right? And that's below the equilibrium price. Now, just note that this, my, this price ceiling, CR, intersects my demand curve at R and intersects my supply curve at C. All right. Now let's come to the point why the government wants to put a cap on certain products. All right. What happens is that government wants to put cap on certain products because the government thinks that if left to the market, the P star that the market is charging for that product is too high for low income groups or for certain category of people okay so the government wants that that product the government thinks that that product is a necessity good and it should be it should be availed or it should be consumed by all consumers and it should not be a burden on them right the price shouldn't be a burden on them so the price has to be lower for that product so the price has to be lower. So that's why the price cap is below the equilibrium price. Okay. Now, what kind of products the government puts price ceiling on? So basically, it's your necessity goods or it could be a political point as well. All right. I've just explained you why a necessity good needs to be price capped. Okay. Because the government thinks, I'll repeat again, the government thinks that that good is a kind of a necessity good and every group of society, every category of people of society should be able to have that good, right? So the price should be a little lower because the government thinks that if left to the market, the price can go very high. All right. So that's your... I mean, government does price ceiling for necessity goods or it could be a political point. Now, a few examples of this price ceiling is basically your rent controls or your ceiling on petrol or gas prices or your ceiling on natural gas prices. All right. Now, rent controls, I'll explain that again. Now, the government thinks that landlords should not be able to charge very high rents to low income group of people because accommodation is one of the necessity goods right so if left to the market then the prices could go really high for rents and that's why there is a price cap on rent so that's your rent control right similar case goes for your petrol or gas prices and also on your natural gas all right but what happens is that however price ceiling has some serious consequences that make the whole activity less effective so what are the consequences the so first consequence is the shortage it creates shortage of what that product sorry it creates shortage of that product in the market coming back to the diagram okay now look i told you that my price ceiling intersects my supply curve at c and my demand curve at r all right so basically this much if i just extend drop a pendicular from here so this much qs is my quantity supplied and qd is my quantity demanded this gap 
the CR gap is basically the shortage that's created of that product in the market. All right, because only this much is supplied, only this much is supplied, OQS is only supplied. However, what's demanded in the market is OQD, right? So this much QS, QD is basically the shortage in the market for that product, CR, right? This whole rectangle basically gives me the total value of that shortage in the market, right? All right, the second consequence is basically it reduces the quality of the product. Now, in case of, let's say, the rent control, right? Now, the landlords know that we cannot charge a higher price to the consumers, so they will be least bothered to renovate or to, you know, uh, refurbish the apartments, right? They would provide with low-quality apartments to the to the tenants all right okay so the third the third consequence could be misallocation of resources since producers are not getting the price they want so they might divert the resources from apartment the good that has a price ceiling to condos or other goods where prices are high therefore further reducing the supply of apartments in the market all right so it, it's basically it's basically damaging the whole purpose for what the price ceiling was done. Do you understand this? I mean, if this happens, so there would be allocation of resources from the apartments to other places or to other types of uh, you know accommodation where the rent is pretty high, where there's no price capping, right? Further reducing this quantity supplied of apartments in this case, that will make matters worse, right? All right, and the fourth consequence is dead weight loss. Society is worse off in total. Okay, let me explain this to you in terms of the diagram. All right, so now earlier when the, if it was left to the market, then the equilibrium price that we got was P star and equilibrium quantity was Q star, right? TD was my demand curve and VS was my supply curve. All right. Now, given this, given this P star as my equilibrium price and Q star as my equilibrium quantity, what I get is TBP star as my consumer surplus. This whole triangle as my consumer surplus, right? To, to recall what's a consumer surplus, a consumer surplus is any area that's above the equilibrium price but below your demand curve, right? So this whole triangle is my consumer surplus. Okay, similarly, what I get as P star B V as my producer surplus. What's a producer surplus? Producer surplus is any area that's below the equilibrium price but above the supply curve so p star b v is my producer surplus and t b p star is my consumer surplus all right now this is before any price capping done for that product what happens when there's a price cap so after the price cap this is my price cap in this diagram p ceiling right cr that's my price cap when this price cap is done, it intersects my supply curve at C and the quantity supplied is QS. Now, if I extend this up here, right, and intersects it with demand curve, I get this point A because this is the quantity supplied at this price, okay? So now what happens is like T A C P ceiling, this whole becomes my consumer surplus right because this is below my demand curve but above my price in this case the equilibrium price being the price ceiling right so p ceiling is now the new equilibrium price so above my equilibrium price and below my demand curve is my consumer surplus now why this because the quantity supplied is only this much so TACP ceiling is my consumer surplus, right? And P ceiling CV is basically my producer surplus in this case, okay? So this whole 
triangle that's left out right a b c this whole triangle is the dead weight loss to the society because this area doesn't go to the consumers and nor to the producers right earlier t b p star was going to the producers sorry was going to the consumers t b p star was going to the consumers now t a r p star is only going to the consumers so this rectangle sorry this triangle a r b is the dead weight loss right coming back here p r c p ceiling is again going to the consumers so r b c is the one that's left out and p ceiling c v is now going to the producers so all the area to the left of this a c is going to the consumers and the producers but this area this triangle is not going to society to any of these so that's why this is the dead weight loss earlier this r b c was actually going to the producers right you remember p star b v was my total producer surplus now out of which this whole area is still going to consumers and producers but this area is not going anywhere so a b c is the total dead weight loss to the society price ceiling has lot of negative consequences also so it's not an easy decision to make whether to go for a price cap for a certain product or not the government or the economists really have to weigh the pros and cons the cost and benefits and then come to a conclusion of it all right i hope this was fruitful and you find it informative see you next time bye bye